Good morning, family. Welcome to another episode of Conscious of Real TV. Um, today, I want to talk about our people being mentally ill. Some of our people, probably most of us. Um, so I never put together a good discussion yesterday. Him and Dr. Yaya, I think Dr. Issa was on there. Brother Reggie came on there. But uh, getting back to the subject at hand, I, I mean, all the information that was put out and discussed was just so on point. It was needed. Now, you know, the problem is, like I said, once we decide, once we state that our people is mentally ill, I know white people is going to use it. And I don't know how they're going to retaliate. Or or attack our people. So, you know, that's what I was, uh, I called in and I was speaking on that. You know, but I'm glad more and more people is really, we have to get to a point to where we can't feel embarrassed about either the individual, him or herself being mentally ill, or people that you know, family, friends. We got to be 100 because what's happening is... We are, we having children and we don't know if this is being passed down through the DNA is, you know, is it, it, has it been passed down through the DNA regarding what happened to us is just being, you know, enslaved and all the other stuff that happened to us. So I appreciate, you know, the brothers and sisters finally acknowledging this and we've been saying it. It's just that when it come down to broadcasting it to the world, we didn't do that. And I understand why it's happening now. We are in a situation to where we have to recognize what's going on. Because speaking on our people, we acting like zombies. Now, I know, you know, white people uh, and other races got the same problem, you know, and, and they, they, whatever they do to fix their problem, they do. But they're going to try to make us the face of it like they've done everything else. And that's why I was saying we got to be prepared. You know what I'm saying? We want to be preventive, but we have to be prepared. And that's prepared me how to deal with a mentally ill person and how we're going to let the authorities deal with a mentally ill black person. You know what I'm saying? And, and it ain't nothing to be ashamed about. I mean, they made us crazy. I just got to say it for what it is. Most of us that is nuts, they made us like that. So, like I said, the information that all these doctors and uh, psychologists or whatever, you know, whatever you hold, whether you're just a regular person, whether you're just a grandmother or a grandfather or, you know, a mother or a father, you know, we got to take it serious. And, and it's time. I knew it was coming. I don't think we prepared, but I knew that we're going to have to put this to the forefront because stuff is getting out of hand. Because you can see now we're doing stuff. People just walking in the street. People. I ain't talking about just one person. I'm talking about just maybe a group of shorties. Just don't care. Like, don't care if the car hit them. Just... Playing with weapons, they ain't getting no real training. Just all the stuff, a lot of this stuff could be prevented, but a lot of this stuff is on the basis of being a mentally ill person. And so, you know what I'm saying? I, I totally agree with what the sister was talking about. Dr. Yaya, she was going through that. And, and it was good to hear that because me and my homeboys and you know, my lady friends, we talk about this stuff all the time. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, we got to be on the watch out because what's happening is we even have to look at the people that's already been diagnosed and how they being treated and cared for. And I'm telling y'all, it ain't good because it's racism in the, in the health care field. You know what I'm saying? So even if, you know... You in it, you got some years in it, somebody over you is writing those standards down. And like the sister was saying, they read stuff from a list. So like I said, you know, I ain't saying let's just go around and see who all crazy. You know, but we got to be paying attention. 
And we can't keep letting stuff slide because these these our young folks is getting to an age uh, to where they don't even care about themselves. And that could be a sign of depression and a sign of mentally ill illness coming up on them. You know, so we got to continue this discussion. We, we're going to have to con increase the times we discuss it and not be so nonchalant and politically correct about it. And, you know, the terms got to be broke down. I ain't got all the answers. I don't have a degree in that field or a PhD, you know, or whatever degree that you have to have to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? But I know that we have people in those fields and can't keep just looking at it like I'm getting paid. You got to respect and honor the fact that you're getting paid for it, but we can't just look at it like I'm getting a check, I'm going to treat these people, then I'm moving on to the next patient because that's what they're doing. And I say they, that's what the people that's in these fields, that's pretty much what they're doing. So we got to we got to be serious about it with our people because we around our people more. And even if you don't be around black people, you're going to go somewhere and you're going to be around your people, you know, and you know, it's kind of hard to tell. You just can't look at a person and be like they mentally ill. It's going to pretty much be their actions, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. So, you know, let's keep continue this discussion, man. Let's keep it going. You know, let's keep it true to ourselves. Hey, and nah, nah, let me get back to the money. Because I don't want y'all to think money ain't got nothing to do with it. For the brothers and sisters that is going to get into the healthcare field, it's probably the fastest growing uh, field in the world. You hear me? In the world. So, you know, you can be bought your bread in the healthcare field. And it ain't just doctors and nurses. It's like we said, psychologists, psychiatrists, shoot, just people who making these medical instruments, medicine itself, you know, uh, all type of openness. So even if you want to look at it from a monetary standpoint, you're going to be helping your people and you is going to be getting bread. But we got to be on it because our numbers is growing and when you got so many people congested like that. We're going to see a lot more of this stuff. Brothers, is just, listen, man, I don't celebrate Christmas. But what I'm seeing is the brothers is, is taking, is choosing holidays to inflict the most damage that they can on maybe their rival. And I'm just talking about the ones who are doing it. The brothers that's actually doing it. I'm not saying all the brothers and sisters is committing these crimes. We don't know who doing it and blaming it on another gang. You know, we don't know who actually paying somebody else to do it. We don't know who paying maybe, you know, some brothers that's in the gang to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, let's take it serious. Let's continue it. You know what I'm saying? We just be prepared. We can't just let them come snatch our people up because once enough of us is saying that, once they make you the face, they just going to come and grab you. And like the sister said, any little thing, they ask you what's your favorite color. You say this color. They're going to use it against you. So we got to be prepared. But she broke down some stuff. So I encourage everybody to go back and, and listen to that uh, and watch that whole, watch and listen to that whole discussion. And once again, like I said, man, ain't no hate here or nothing. I don't care who is who, but I got to get thanks to Sonetta for, uh, having that platform because we getting we got brothers and sisters out here who ready to speak to us and they just been looking for the right platform to do it to the people who really matters because I tell people man you could go to church I done been to church it, many of us but I'm saying you go to church and you can hear the preacher preaching and, and whether you believe in God and Jesus and all that stuff it don't matter but a lot of times the, the person who they really trying to, who could actually be healed with those words, they not there. You know what I'm saying? So in a way, it's kind of up to you to pass it to them, but you not the preacher, you know. 
And so I've seen it many times where I sat in the church and be like, dang, you know, I know a couple of people this, this, this word will fit with. You know what I'm saying? And this is, you know, years ago. And not just church. When you're talking to the little kids about trying to stay out the streets and don't be harming your own. A lot of the brothers and sisters is not there. So, you know, with this platform, we got a lot of our people who actually is being affected by the issues that we're talking about. And so, I say, man, shouts out to all the brothers and sisters who got the platforms, who actually trying to put out some real information that people can use in their lives. Then maybe we can get to the group building thing. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say sometimes, man, a lot of our, our platforms, no matter if we cuss, no matter if you come straight, no matter if you just intellectual, the audience that's listening I'm going to say at least 85 to 90% is the right audience. Yeah, you got the trolls and all of that stuff. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's a, it's, we, it's time for us to speak through our mediums. Because the brothers be wanting to cuss sometimes. Like, you know, we want to say certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? And they can't say it on those other platforms. So our platforms is needed. You know, whether you're lecturing, whether you're debating, whether you're just speaking, running your mouth like I'm doing right now, whatever. But it's somebody who listening who it really going to affect them, who can really receive that versus, oh, man, I don't want to go to the class to listen to this. I don't want to go to church to listen to this. I don't want to go to a mosque. I don't want to go to a debate. I don't want to go. Sometimes people will be watching it right on their screen from their crib. No matter what they doing, why they watching it, I don't give a damn. But I'm just telling y'all, our platforms is needed. So this discussion is very much appreciated, you know. So shout out to all my people, my family. Subscribe. Of course I want you to subscribe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Conscious of Real TV, we out. Peace.